going, howdy folks? It's Die Casper Play here again, and welcome back to another NASCAR Authentics review. Holy cow, guys. Way 6 is here, guys. It is here, and uh, let's get into it. So, in this wave, you're not going to see a truck, and you're only going to see one raced version. But, you're going to see a lot of bulk paint schemes, and personally, I think this is a much-needed change, because we have not got a bulk paint scheme wave in yet. And what I mean by bulk paint scheme... Just standard cars, just standard Joe Schmo cars, but we're getting some good ones, guys. We're getting some good ones. So starting off here, we got Kevin Harvick's 2019 Mobile One Ford Mustang, guys. Ford Mustang, beautiful car, shades of the gray ghost. Really cool paint scheme. I actually predicted this car to come into uh, NASCAR Authentics. That's why I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick up his Hunt Brothers pizza car, and I didn't pick up of course his mobile one car so that's two cars i'll be able to get at a cheaper price very excited to get this mobile one car that is a that is a really cool paint scheme moving on next we got daniel suarez's 2019 haas automation ford mustang yes the store haas mustangs are here guys and i already have this paint scheme i, I already have this paint scheme sure you know if I didn't have it, I would absolutely be getting this car. It's got a really cool card, a magnet to go with it. So if you don't have this car, absolutely get it, man. This is one of the hottest paint schemes of the year. Uh, but I already have it in the gold series, so I'll have to skip on that. But if you don't have it, make sure to get it. Next up, we have Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2019 Sunny D Ford Mustang. And this is another car I got in the gold series. Sure, I could have waited and got it, but I was like, man, I really want this Sunny D car. It's a beautiful paint scheme, and I wasn't sure if they were going to do the Fast and All car or the Sunny D car, but I knew there was going to be another Stenhouse down the road. Sure enough, it was the Sunny D one, and this is a matte paint scheme. It might not look like it, but it actually is a matte paint scheme, or satin. It has kind of that feel to it, like the Kyle Larson McDonald's car from 2018. It has that feel to it, so... It's a really cool car, man. I highly recommend getting this one. And it does have a beautiful magnet to go along with it. Next up, we have Kyle Busch's 2019 Interstate Batteries Toyota Camry. Now, this is the same Zebra paint scheme we have seen for like the last four or five years. Personally, I am not a fan of it. I really would like to see a modern uh, version of Bobby Labonte's early 2000s paint scheme like that. That the signature interstate battery spark or lightning down the side. I think they could do something like that, but make it a little bit more sharp, uh, a little bit more detailed, maybe some fading, some really good texturing, and they could bring that, that sense of nostalgia into effect, but make it modern for branding and marketing purposes. So I will get this car, and I'm, I wanna say here, all the cars in wave six will be reviewed on Diecastle Face. So if you are looking for reviews on wave six whenever i can find the cars i promise you guys i will have them reviewed on the channel so uh make sure to hit that subscribe button uh just in case and that notification bell too guys <laughs> next up we have martin Truex jr's 2019 bass pro shops tracker boats toyota camry and this right here guys was probably the second most anticipated paint scheme of the year Obviously, the number one has to be Jimmy Johnson Ally. I mean, that's an easy number one. But second has to be Martin Truex Jr.'s car. And let me tell you, this paint scheme literally just dropped like a week ago. So I knew it was going to be an authentic. I absolutely knew that. But I could not wait. I could not wait. I had to get this car. I've been dying for it. Um, and I already had the review on the channel. If you have not gotten your Martin Truex Jr. diecast, go ahead and check it out on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, go ahead and check that one out but that's a cool paint scheme that is a really cool paint scheme i don't know about the the magnet i don't know if i'm feeling the design but hey martin Truex jr primary get it next up we have chase elliott's mountain dew team rubicon chevrolet camaro this is a very similar paint scheme to 2018 you have the uh, metallic green that we love so much, but with a little bit of a digital camo military flair. Personally, this makes a great patriotic car for your stop motions, um, or if you're diecast racing, <laughs> hint, hint, their last cup series. Uh, check that out this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But uh, this is a really cool paint scheme. This is a really cool paint scheme. At first, I didn't like it, but now that I have the 2018 one to compare to it, it's a really cool paint scheme. If you don't have it, 
If you're a Chase Elliott guy, get it, man, because you're going to get a magnet that's going to have Mountain Dew on it. That right, that right there is worth it, okay? Then you get digital camo. I mean, it's, it's going to be cool. You, I would get it. Make sure to get it. Next up, we have Bubble Walsh Jr.'s 2019 Aftershocks Chevrolet Camaro. And this is a paint scheme I did not get. I already got the Chase Elliott one. You've already seen the review for that. But I did not get the Bubba Wallace one because I already have a car for the Dry Ice Cup Series for Bubba Wallace. And it's this, and it's the STP car. I love that paint scheme. So I wanted to get that and keep that car in the series. Uh, but hey, man, let me tell you, if I can pick up this 43, the Aftershocks car, bright, richer, petty blue, uh, really cool front. And it's really textured. It's very modern. Uh, if you are a Bubba Wallace Jr. fan, or if you're just a collector of Camaros, I would recommend getting this car, and it's going to be reviewed on the channel as well, so don't miss that. Next up, we have Haley Deegan's 2018, uh, what, what, what is this? Meriden, Idaho? Yeah, Meriden, Idaho, race win, um, what is it, Mobile One, Napa Power? I, I don't, I don't know, I have never, uh, I never watched this car win or anything like that, so I would not be the first one to say uh, what the heck this car... I don't even know if it's on the, the new Toyota Camry mold or it's on the original Gen 6 Camry mold. I don't know. I think it's the original Gen 6 one, but uh, Haley Deegan's trending right now. Haley Deegan is trending, so if you want to die cast and if you want to have something that might be worth something in a few years... I would get this and I wouldn't open it. I'm going to open it because you know, guys, I love bringing y'all content. So I'll make sure to have this uh, die cast out there and I'll make sure to have it reviewed. But it's coming with the race win card. It's not like the Kansas Chase Elliott one we've seen in Wave 5. No, this one has the race win card. Even though I have absolutely no information on the race or what happened in the event, let me know in the description below. But this is a cool die cast and I absolutely will be getting it. And next up, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2019. Yes, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2019. My all-time favorite driver. He's going to be back in NASCAR for Darlington. Yes, Darlington. This is his Xfinity uh, Camaro. His Hellman's uh, Camaro for the Xfinity Series. And it's a throwback to his father's car that I, ran, I think he ran at the, uh, what, the 76 uh, Coke 600, I think. I think so. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. Don't quote me. Um, but no question. This is, if you're a junior fan, you got to get this, man. I mean, come on. It's a really cool car, man. It's retro. It's not the best looking one out there, but hey, it's retro. Go for it, man. And this is going to be worth something because this could very well be the last Dale Jr. diecast ever made. Who knows? Who knows? And this one's also going to be the liquid color as well, guys. So if you're looking for a rare liquid color piece, this is the one to get. The blue on the liquid color is absolutely amazing. And to tell you the truth, with the darker blue and the Hellman's logo, it literally looks like the Planner's Peanut logo. Like, legit. I love it. I, I love it. The, the metallic liquid color-esque blue looks so good on the Camaro. Looks so good, so... If you want a really nice liquid color piece, this might just be the best one yet because the whole car is going to have it. Not just going to be a stripe or a side. No, we're talking the whole thing, guys. This is going to be one hot die cast. So, with all that being said, guys, personally, I think Wave 6 is actually very good. And here's why. At, at first, I was disappointed. I owned a lot of the cars already in this wave, and I've already reviewed it. I've already reviewed the Suarez, the Stenhouse, the Martin Truex Jr., and the Chase Elliott. But guess what, guys? You're getting an exclusive race win hanging in, uh, what is it, east or west? I don't even know, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know much about this series. I, I never have time to watch the feeder series, to be honest. But you're getting a really cool exclusive die cast in the 164 line, not 124, in the 164. So this is a card you're going to want to get, guys, that 19 Haley Deegan Camry. But you're also going to get a Dale Jr. liquid color. If you're able to find this card, oh my goodness, man, that thing's going to be expensive. Wow, that's going to be expensive. But I already own a lot of the cars in this wave. And uh, personally, the cars I'm looking forward to and of course, I'm going to get all the cars in this wave that I don't have. Like, 
the Kevin Harvick Great Ghost, the Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries, the, the Bubba Wallace Aftershocks, and of course, the Dale Jr. Donington Xfinity Camaro. I got to get those. You know, I got to get those, and they will be reviewed on the channel. And of course, I've already said the number 19 uh, for Deegan. So I'm going to be getting those cards. They're going to be on the channel. So I already reviewed four of these. I'll, I'll make sure to have all the reviews down below in the description for the Truex, uh, Chase Elliott, Stenhouse, and uh, Daniel Suarez. I'll go ahead and have that, have that link down below. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about Wave 6, guys. This one came out, I think, out of the bloom because no one was expecting Wave 6, I don't think. I mean, there was rumors that maybe it's time for a wave. It's, you know, it's getting close to the mid of August, but generally they tease it. They tease it on their social media page. We didn't get no teaser this time. It was literally just dropped. Uh, I was shocked. I read it on uh, my Instagram at, on my first break at work, and I was like, wow. Uh, I did not know Wave 6 was out, so I was like, crap, I got to do a video. <laughs> but no, nah, guys, it's uh, it's awesome to get another NASCAR Authentics Wave in. As, as I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned in Wave 5 uh, video, but... I've been uh, thinking that Authentics is going to start getting things uh, turned around, so to speak. They're going to get things a little bit more streamlined after the whole uh, Chinese New Year mess. I do think we're going to get our waves a lot more consistent now. And I'm thinking we're going to go back to the once a month thing. And I love that. I love that. Every month we get one new wave. So if that's the case, Wave 5 should be in ma mass retail or soon. Who knows? Who knows? Don't quote me on that one, guys. Don't quote me, but that's how it was last year. Every month, we would be getting a wave in stock in your store. So if that's the case, maybe, maybe in September, maybe October. I, I don't think November. I don't think November. I think October at the absolute latest. We'll get Wave 6 in mass retailers. You'll be able to pick these up at the Lionel Racing store. So, yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about Wave 6. Uh, I'm excited. I, I love these authentic ways. I really do. It's There's so much hype, and everyone's wanting to collect them. I just hope they get their distribution right this time. Get things streamlined. Get the cars out. Once a month is all of the cars I mentioned will be reviewed every single die cast here will be reviewed on the channel so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a nascar die cast review and that's gonna be all for this video thank you all so much for watching hope you're having a great one out there a die cast buffet signing off